Hello. Hi, welcome back to your new lesson. As I had promised you in my previous tutorial, I'll take few more lectures on Arduino. So in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you digital input output pins of the Arduino. So here you can see there are three types of the digital mode into the Arduino. First is the digital read, second one is the digital write and third one is pin mode. Okay, so we will take this one by one but before that we need to understand what is the mean of the digital read, write and the pin mode. So let me tell you something more about the Atmega microcontroller which is currently being used in almost all Arduino devices except ARM based Arduino devices. So every Atmega microcontrollers, let's say this is your Atmega microcontroller. So every Atmega microcontroller have three type of the resistors, three type of the input output resistors like a pin A, a pin B, a pin C, pin D etc. And then it has a port type of the resistors where we can use port A and then port B, port C, port D kind of and then it has a DDRA, DDRB, DDRC etc. So the DDRA data directional resistor A, data directional resistor B and then port A, port B and then pin A, pin B. So pin A, pin B is kind of the input resistors. So we can bind this pin A and the pin B like a digital read. Okay, and the port can be bind as a digital write. And this data directional can be bind with a pin mode. So what Arduino programming has done, instead of the accessing these registers into the Atmega microcontroller, we are going to set, read or give output to these registers via these three commands. Those commands are digital read digital writes and the pin mode. So let's say if any microcontroller have a two pin, let's say the pin number 12 and the pin number 13. And if we want to read this pin number 12 and if we want to give the output at the pin number 13 that is equivalent to the write. So that's mean with the sum mechanism we are going to read pin number 12 and then we will be giving output pin to pin number 13. So before that we need to set the pin mode. Okay. So here the pin mode will be input and here pin mode will be output. Okay. So let's write a program where we can read pin number 12 and then we can give output to pin number 13. So in this slide you can see here there is example code. In this example code what I am going to do, I am going to read pin number 12. So let's make it pin number 12. And then I am going to give output to pin number 13 which is an internal LED. You can see here this internal LED is blinking. But after this program, I can set this internal LED with the our pin number 12, right? Okay. So now, you see here in my previous tutorial, I had also told you that what is the data type. So it is using int type of the data type. And this is the variable name and this is a variable value. Okay. So there are two default setup function, two default function in Arduino. One is the setup, another one is the wired. And then this is the digital input output functions here. This is not. So pin mode, the first we are going to set pin number 13 pin mode as output. And then for pin number 12, we are going to set it as input. And then we are going to read this with a digital read internally it will be using a pin a value of a pin way kind of pin 
okay pin a pin b pin c a pin d kind of okay and then it will be writing the value whatever it has read from the pin number 13 to sorry uh, whatever at the pin number 12 it will be writing those values at pin number 13 okay so this is a 12 this is 12 okay great now let's see uh, how we can program this into the Arduino so let's open a default sketch into Arduino which will have a default two functions Arduino wired and the loop so the very quickly I'm uh, uh, Arduino setup and the loop so the very quickly I'm going to write a function into the setup uh, but before the setup I need to define the LED edge those are the int LED pin that is equal to 13 and then we have int input pin that is equal to 12 and then we have int value in which we will be reading by default we are going to assign it to the 0 and then finally we need to set the pin mode for those two input output so for the first one the pin mode LED pin that should be as a oops that should be as a output and then we have a pin mode for in pin okay and that should be as a input and then in the loop we can read the value the value is equal to digital read and in this digital read we are going to read 12 number pin which is assigned with in pin and then we are going to write this to pin number 13 that is the LED pin so LED pin will be written with the value okay right so now let's burn it you can directly upload this code and here you will see uh, this says that the value is not defined of course I need to write here the value so let's upload this now you will see here this will stop okay and if I connect this pin number 12 with the 5 volt see here it is on if I disconnect it and connect it with the ground you can see this is off okay if I connect it again with the 5 volt on and now it is off so once you you might have noticed here that if I connect it with the 5 volt and if I disconnect it then sometimes it goes off otherwise sometimes it continue on so it is a kind of the latching that's mean if I don't connect it with the ground then the 5 volt sometimes um, you know the LED holds not the 5 volt but uh, pin number 13 um, uh, pin number 12 is kind of into a tri state where uh, the voltage could be greater than 2 volt 3 volt or 5 volt so but if I connect it with the ground then for sure it will be ground but if I connect it with the 5 volt then sure for sure it will be 5 volt and in that case LED will LED will be on so this is all in this video I am sure you might have understand that digital input output into the Arduino in next tutorial I'll be showing you how you can use a serial port or a UART of Arduino port to read any digital pins and you can see those value into a computer so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day